So today I'm at the Good Home Bar in Wigram. Um, I'm a bit of a frequent flyer here because on most Tuesday mornings we have our sales meeting here for Ray White Metro. I'm always impressed by the owner Andy Jakes because he always remembers my name and my coffee order and that of about 50 other people that come on the day. So I thought it was time we found out a little bit more about the man behind the coffee and his business. Come and take a look. The Good Home Bar is a local favourite in the new Wigram shopping precinct which is always growing with new businesses coming into the area. I guess you could say the Good Home Bar is one of the new originals. With distinctive decor on the upper and lower level, the bar and restaurant offer a spacious and inviting atmosphere seven days a week where you can meet, greet and eat and wind up and down on the weekends. There you go Bronwyn, there's your coffee, trim flat white, takeaway cup, no sugar because you're sweet enough. See he so knows me inside and out. <laughs> Andy, thank you so much for meeting with us today. Yep. Tell me about it, because it's a it's a wow space, isn't it? It is it is a wow space and I, I think that's one of the things that um, I'm still really impressed about after you know we've been here for five years now. And you still get people come in and actually just they stop and they sort of look around and they're looking at everything and it's actually it's actually really cool to, to watch watch people do that. Um, and you can kind of see what's going on through their through their heads and what they think about the place, so the old story, first impression. Uh, they're greeted by Susie, our fantastic manager, and you know, like they get that good, bubbly, bubbly welcome when they come in and stuff. So, but where it started, I mean, we, we had another bar and restaurant out in, uh, out in Raleigh, with, well, we've still got it, my, my sister and brother in law run that one, and we're kind of, you know, it'd be good to, good to do something else, maybe sort of future proof for the years to come and stuff. And we, and we spoke to Lion Breweries about. Um, the site they uh, they offered us this site and another site. I used to live just around the corner. You know, we've really loved with um, what's happening here in Wickham Skies and stuff. So, so it's a great lifestyle choice too. Then. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, literally two minutes down the road from uh, you know when we built it and stuff. So uh, which is kind of a good thing, kind of a bad thing, because you know you can't you, get away you, from work. You can't get away from it. And you yeah. kind of find yourself getting pulled back down here every so often, but no. So it's a concept bar. What is a concept bar versus, a, say, like a franchise? Because there are other good home bars, right? Yeah, so there's about, uh, I think it's about 13 or good home bars sprinkled. There's two others in Christchurch, Pegasus and Ferrymead. Uh, there's one in um, uh, Blenheim, and we were, the, we were the first in the South Island, and then all the rest of them are up in the uh, North Island. And what is it about the good home bar that, they, yeah, what, is, what, is it, what is the essence of it? I think it's just, just what you just said, the good home, you know, it's sort of people come in here, the way it's been designed is that we've got different areas, so it's not like just a big barn, you come in here and, you know, we've got your sports team here, we've got your atrium over there, your lounge, your, your uh, dining corner, and then you've got upstairs, there's a meeting room upstairs. And you've even got kissing boots. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, really? Oh, well, You've been in there? there? There's a few booths down there. I'm sure there's a wee bit of kissing goes on. Really? Okay. okay. Don't know myself. I haven't been here for that. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. It is. It's an amazing um, feel. Um, as said, when you walk in here, it's a super wow. Um, and I know that um, I've always been impressed when I've come in. And you always say hi. You always greet me with a smile on your face, as do the other staff members. What's it like, you know, trying to manage, to try to keep that vibe going in a business? Because it's pretty hard to run a small business, right? Yeah, 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 it can be, and I guess um, hopefully that's the culture that pulls through there, right? So you've got, you know, you've got all of your, you know, we've still got a lot of original staff from when we opened. Very lucky that we've got um, original chefs from when we opened, which is quite unusual in this business. But, you know, from a, from a front of house perspective, you know, if you've got um, good people who are, you know, outgoing, vibrant, you know, friendly and all the rest of it, then anybody else actually looks and probably feels out of place as well so you, you've just got to sort of bring that through so everyone's doing the same thing. So um, who comes to the bar? Like, or, or, and Because it's obviously a gastro pub that's open um, from, is it from 10? 10? 10.30. So 10.30 right until late every yeah. night of the week or? Yeah or just, just until n nobody's here. I mean <laughs> I've got to say we're not a we're not a one o'clock in the morning closing type of place with you know DJs and, and, live, and live bands. We're sort of most of the time, unless it's a function upstairs or something, will be closed by 11.30, 12 on a Friday night. It's kind of, it is kind of that neighbourhood thing and I'm, I'm picking if people want to pack on, they'll, they'll head into town or, or go home or, you know, and, and carry on at home or whatever. But, um, yeah, no, it's, uh, you know, we get lots of family. A lot of people say how family friendly it is, which is awesome. Um, 
I mean, you get a lot of corporates as well. Mm-hmm. You know? so I think, you know. Well, well case in point, Red yeah. White Metro come here every Tuesday morning, which is pretty good. What um, do you find, um, you know, what's one of the you know, funny, if you have any funny things happen in the bar, or is there anything um, um, of note that, you know, you thought was kind of a bit, a bit difficult in, in having your business? Oh. Probably caught me on the hop there. There probably is something funny that's happened, but uh, you know we get that circus on a Tuesday morning when all the uh, Ray White people pour in, and uh, Richard, uh, you know, spells out all the all the wise stuff. And yeah, do you, you feel know, like you could be an agent now? All that um, oh, totally. clients, all totally that stuff. I know. Oh yeah, like all I do is sit here and listen to to Richard and his words of wisdom and, and stuff, you know. And, and obviously, uh, and your, your job's easy, that, right? Oh, super yeah. easy. Uh, the good thing is we have coffee that keeps us awake through compliance which is um, obviously a great thing. Yeah. Hey, um, so you mentioned about the fact, so we come here on a Tuesday, um, it's because it's such a big, um, easy space for us to do our meetings and things, and obviously you let us come, you know, um, before you actually open, which is, you know, so fantastic. But um, you're set up for um, sort of corporate functions, and can people hire the place out at different times, or what do you do? Yeah, well, we, we don't normally hire the whole place out, but we've got upstairs where you sort of hire, um, Anything from groups of sort of 30, 40, um, down one end of upstairs, or you know, we do sort of go up to about 70 or 80 if they want the whole of upstairs. So lots of birthdays or engagements. Can't you, get know, yeah, you, you, you notice that on all the bookings that come through, you know, uh, such and such birthday. In fact, we got a really cool one the other day where um, somebody is coming for their, I think it was their 12th birthday, and they've been here every birthday since we since we opened. So, and I remember them saying that last year as well. So. Things like that are pretty cool, you know. So what are your pipes like? Are you quite good at the old happy birthday song? Have you got your own one? Or like, you know, you're, up there, you're up there doing your wee, you know, happy birthday with your candles? Roman, is a good story actually. I, uh, I remember playing karaoke one uh, Christmas time. Uh, you know, the old uh, PlayStation karaoke. And my brother beat me holding the uh, microphone under his, under his arm. That's how good I am at oh, singing. Oh, okay. So, so a work in progress. Not even a work. Just gone. Okay, Hopeless, so, terrible. So, so Can't do it. So that's not one of your, your main skills. But no. when you own a place like this, you obviously find yourself upskilling and having a variety of skills. Um, what did you find was one of the hardest skills to learn? Was the only thing that was really challenging? Um, look, I, I, I think I had a really good background coming into POSPO with being in a bank for, for 17 years. And one of the things that the bank, you know, drum on and drum into you is customer service and I think um, along with you know where I progressed to in the bank I, I, I was then able to pick up business skills and you know like the um, you know the money side of it that sort of thing so I kind of don't feel like anything's been that difficult I, I wouldn't say everything's been easy but I think the background that I got working in the bank actually made um, you know for a really really smooth transition into hospital uh, you know, as anybody in hospital will tell you, it's all about customer service. So, you know, and that was the biggest thing that uh, that we learned to the bank. You know. How do you deal with complaints? What do you do? Like, do you, I mean, I can't imagine you have to do any here. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you know, but, you know, how do you, because, I mean, obviously, you know, I mean, we in our business, we, 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 can't, we can't do everything right all the time. We yeah. want to, obviously. Yeah. But, you know, we make mistakes at times. Yeah. Um, what do you do when, you know, you, how do you manage it? It's a, it's a tricky one, because every single, you know, and I, and I find when I'm talking to staff or training staff, when you get to the issue about complaints, it's actually a really tricky one, right? Like there's no, hey, right, well, this is what we do, and this is what they get, or this is how we resolve it or anything. Obviously, it depends on what the complaint is, um, you know, how serious the complaint is and all the rest of it, but obviously the first thing is you've got to listen to what they're saying, so it's actually not paying lip service, it's like, oh, okay, really? Okay, so yeah, yeah no, I totally get that. You've got to empathise with the person and actually be genuine about it. You know, it's not just a, you know, it's not just oh, it's the end of a long day and now this person's saying this or whatever. You actually got to, and then you've got to understand it, and then you got to fix it. And you know, and you've got to make sure about, it doesn't happen about, again. All about listening. Yeah, listening and actually finding a solution. Yeah, um, and generally people just want to make sure that they that, that you see something and can and can react to it and well, correct actually, isn't it? Oh. Courage. Totally, totally. What else is happening? Because I understand that this is not the only enterprise for you. No, so we've got some, yeah, we've got some big things coming up. Where um, I live in Prebleton now. I used to live just around the road, but I live in Prebleton now, and we're just about. My brother's actually come back from Hong Kong, and he's going to uh, run our 
we're, we're currently building a brand new good home in Pebbledon. Cool. Uh, very similar to this one. Uh, the feedback's been amazing. Like right. just so much good feedback from the community and stuff. So we can't wait. Uh, we're just sort of pushing through the, the normal hurdles and stuff and stuff now. But um, and we're also doing a barber shop. Wow. So, so you can have a beer and have your haircut you, at the same you time. You will be able to have a beer and have your haircut at the same <laughs> Love time. So, it. so, which sounds like my perfect haircut, right? Yeah, so, not that I need that many these days. Well, but, I might have to come and get a, a shave. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I'm you know close to the age where you know there's the odd one. So look, you know, you never know. You might be able to do a bit of plucking for me. Yeah, yeah. So who's running that for you? So uh, there's a young guy who used to work for us when we first opened um, Good Home here, his name's Craig Stewart, and he's a good young fella. Um, he worked for us for three or four years. Um, all our customers really, really loved him, and he's, like I say, he's a good lad. And he suggested one day that uh, we saw that this barbershop coming up in the same comp. So we're literally, we're unit 11 at Prebleton, and the barbershop's gonna be unit nine. And he uh, he said, oh, look, bottom me to a barbershop. He was quite joking, you know, and I thought, oh, Barbershop in Pebbledon at the moment. I thought, uh, you know, why not? And, you know, great opportunity for him, obviously, to be, you know, he's currently working for somebody, so this will give him the opportunity to work for himself. And, yeah, it just sounds like a, another cool week challenge. You know? And it sounds like there's absolutely no reason for any of those boys or men in Pebbleton to not be well manscaped either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hoping to see, you know, there'll be some quite good looking, quite good looking, you know, uh, carry on going on. Down yeah. There. Yeah. Hey, um, look, I really appreciate you spending some time with us today. I um, I really um, love the fact that the business is going so well, and I wish you all the best with this Thank new you. one. I really hope that um, uh, people that are watching this will come down and love what they have here. If they haven't been here before, come down and, and, and have some of the good phone bar service. And if you're out in Prebleton, please keep an eye out on that new one. Yeah, awesome. Thanks for coming along. Love it. Thanks Always so a much. pleasure to see you. Thanks for the coffee. You're welcome.